happy Saturday, everybody. This is Ron, Garage Aquatics 2023. I thought I'd do a, just a little fish room update. Um, just, just for fun. This tank needs a little cleaning, though. And I'm not talking about the mom. I'm talking about the hard water line and all the spots up there. And this is the tank that I have all the baby, the baby quarries in. And they should be swimming around there. And there are also baby bettas in here. And I've been feeding them live uh, baby brine shrimp, and they are going for it. And I was also feeding them the Fluval Bug Bites Algae Crisps, and they like those too. So they're growing, and I was going to add some water to it, raise it up a little bit. I took that fish bowl out, and some of you may remember it, uh, and the water line went down a little bit. And I got a bucket of water here, and I stuck my hand in it to put the siphon tube in it. I was running hot water, so I got to let that go. So that's tank number one, and these are in no particular order. We'll go out to the living room next. All right, this is a 12 inch cube that I got at Amazon. It's a cool little tank, so. 12 by 12 by 12, that's one cubic foot. That's about 7.48 gallons. I did uh, something on how to figure out the volume of your aquariums a while back. I posted that uh, here on Instagram and also here on YouTube. And you know what, I think I will redo that. But anyway, in this tank, I've got um, these four glow light tetras. And this little guy coming up here is uh, a least keely fish, and I, I had four of those from uh, uh, my friend Mex Cali fish keeper, Jorge, uh, brought me those. Well, there's five in here now, so one of them had an offspring. And then there's six of these, I love these, these little pygmy quarries. Um, and I'm waiting for more little pygmy quarries at some point. And there are uh, red cherry shrimp in here. And I started with, I don't know, three or four, and there's gotta be over 50 now. Um, I've heard it said they breed like cockroaches, and they breed like cockroaches, and they are fun. I love them. They're all over the tank. They just, you know, cruising up in the, in the plants. I've got a, um, oh, I can never think of the name of this when I, when I want to. Salvinia, yeah, and there's uh, obviously a little bit of duckweed floating around in there, um, and I've got some Anubias and uh, Wendelove Java Fern, and a couple crypts. There's another crypt all the way in the back behind that Sagittarius. It's uh, Crypt Spiralis, I think. And then this is uh, Crypt 20 i Bronze and another more of the um, um, Sagittarius. And, and I just forgot the name of that too. And I really like the look of this plant, the little clover-like leaf spreads takes over. Uh, I've got it in another tank and maybe by the time I get to that other tank I'll remember what it's called. But this is a cool little tank. I really I like it. It's a nice little size, this, this 12 inch cube. And let's go to the next tank. And this one is my 16 gallon water box and this is the tank that started it all for me back in January 2023, so almost a year ago now. Um, and there's a couple, I think three or four big pieces of Sirius stone in here and a big piece of driftwood. Uh, there's a big crypt, uh, wetty eye. I love the glare here, sorry about that. The wetty eye uh, bronze and this big Amazon sword. Now there were three of these Amazon swords in here. When I planted them, I had no idea how big they get. And so the other two are in another tank out in the garage. Uh, Hydrocotyl Japan, I think that's what that's called. This clover leaf looking. Um, there's Benelope von Schweetz. Uh, she's in here. There's, uh, I think, 19 neon tetras. I started with 20, 21, I think, and I had two jumpers because uh, there is no cover on this tank. So, and I probably had the water level a little too high. But anyway, everybody's been pretty stable ever since. There's also, I think, three auto sinkless and three little clown plecos, and they have been in there the whole time, and they have not put in any size. And the only time I see those is maybe at night, um, and if I feed something like uh, a chunk of uh, zucchini, I've done a video 
on how I prepare the zucchini for these guys, or I'll put in a, a, the Rapashi uh, Soylent Green gel in the gel form, and I'll make a video on how I prepare that too. So this, this is a cool tank. There's a bunch of Java fern in here, and this is the source of all my Java fern. I think I got two or three of them in here uh, when I first started this tank, and, and they just keep popping off more. And I did a, a just a still on how they reproduce, and you can see the little plantlets and the roots coming off of this one leaf or frond, a fern frond. And you can see more uh, of the sori underneath that are with germinating spores in there. They'll produce more little little plantlets. Okay, there goes Vanellope. Um, and, and I did that about two months ago, so they're really fast to reproduce. And then I've got this, and I cannot remember what the name of this is, it's some sort of wire grass that spreads, and it's really cool, I really like it. Uh, and there's some more, I don't know if that's the same thing up front here, uh, something different. But anyway, this, this has been a fun tank. Let me come around the other side. This is the kitchen tank. So this is on the counter between the, between the sink and, and uh, the other side of the counter there. Um, so here we go. There's Anubias in here. There's a couple different varieties, uh, species, I guess. And I've got a, a philodendron and pothos growing out of this jar. And that's something I, I didn't show on the other side. Uh, you can see some residue in the top of the jar. Uh, we get mosquitoes occasionally, and mosquitoes lay their eggs in that jar. So I put something called BTI, or Bacillus thuringiensis israeliensis, and that uh, inhibits mosquitoes from going into their adult stage. So they get into their, their you know, the, the eggs uh, hatch, and they end up in something, I think it's called the tumbler stage, and then from there they metamorphose out into an adult, and this uh, BTI won't let them do that, so they just die in there. Uh, so it's a great uh, biocontrol. Um, it, uh, it's safe for fish. I've used it in fish tanks too, where I've had mosquitoes and the fish aren't eating the mosquitoes. Uh, it's used for ponds typically and bird baths and such. So it's BTI, and I get, it comes in these cakes, these wafers, and I just break off little pieces for, uh, uh, to put in, the, put in these tanks. There's a big chunk of that serious stone. And there's a little piece of bulbitis fern stuck to a rock there that's not doing really well. And off to the garage, Garage Aquatics 2023. That's where the name came from, because you know it's mostly a garage fish room. And I got this cool little uh, rolly cart on Amazon. And it's really been just a blessing to have around. Here's a tank that I got on offer up a while back, 75 gallon tank for 40 bucks. Some good deals out there, and I cleaned it, and it's still kind of dirty, but I leak tested it out front. I just filled it, left it overnight, and it seemed to work. A um, couple 29 gallons here, one's still empty. It needs, uh, um, needs inhabitants, so I'll come up with something. It's one of my grow out tanks, and these are the Albino Crebensis, and it's another 29 gallon. I got these, and, and uh, uh, these 10 gallons from uh, uh, a Petco, one of their 50, well, I don't remember what they were, they, they're, you know, cheap, uh, they're cheap deals that they had. And in here, a bunch of baby uh, albino crebenses, and there's also some uh, Cory Sturbys. There's one that just took off behind that crypt and the leaves there. So I've got a bunch of uh, bio, uh, what do you call them, biologicals in here. Just leaf litter and twigs, and they all like that. And a bunch more of the salvinia on top. And this stuff just goes nuts. I'm gonna to have to bring a bunch of this into uh, my local fish shop. And the ones with the bigger leaves are the uh, uh, Amazon frog bit. And then this is full of hornwort in here. Also grows like wildfire. And then uh, on this side are, from the same batch as the albino crebensis, uh, another 29 gallon. I don't know what you do about the glare. Let me shut the garage door, maybe that'll help and the noise um, and these uh, came out looking like species these are really nice and I, I gave a bunch of these to uh, uh, Jorge and uh, there's one uh, female albino in here um, so out of the same batch of albino crebensis fry half of them were 
species look in the other half are albino. Interesting. So and this is just full of plants. It's full of frog bit. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, Amazon frog bit, hornwort, uh, some Sagittarius, and uh, some Anubius. And there's a chunk of Java fern over here in the corner. So and a bunch of rocks. So a bunch of uh, places for them to kind of hang out and hide. Here's a little tank I'm messing with and not getting very far. It's a saline solution or salt water and uh, baby brine shrimp. And I keep dumping them in here and uh, feeding with spirulina. And I'm really not having any luck with it. I've seen it done. Yeah, it's not working. Maybe it will. Maybe I just need to spend more time with it and I'm not giving up on it. So in this, uh, what are these, 20 gallons? Um, I think I might have said the different size on the other side of this rack. But anyway, and I cannot remember what these guys are called. Jorge gave, gave these to me. They're a wild type, and I don't remember if they're a, uh, a wild type molly, or, or I don't remember, maybe, or hey, you'll chime in and let me know. And this is my little farm tank, little crypt tank. There's a bunch of guppies in here too, and bladder snails. And I, I just, I keep smashing the bladder scales and feeding the fish with them. And then the bladder scales end up in this tank, which is full of tannins, but I think they just crawl over the top in the middle of the night. That's the only thing I can figure. And I've got a bunch of the uh, Hydrocarbol Japan that came out of the kitchen tank. Uh, and I've got some of it planted down here, and in the back there's java fern stuck to rocks. Uh, and behind that, against the glass on the other side, are a bunch of little the crypts. Um, spiralis, I think is what they're called. Um, and they're all the way in the back of this tank. I'll go back around and show you those because those are really neat crypt. I really like those. And they're already almost to the top of the tank. Uh, and I'm going to set this tank up with, uh, I think, blue dream shrimp. So I'm just letting it sit. And I dropped a red cherry shrimp in here yesterday and the day before. Uh, you know, forgive the phrase, but a sacrificial shrimp. I want to see if it's shrimp ready. And I'll wait a, a week or two and do the same with this. And I've got a, a Indian almond leaf in here. And uh, also in this one against the wall. And then banana leaves on top. They'll just sort of start breaking down and the, sh the shrimp will be able to feed on those. Um, and I had a alder cones. There's the alder cone. I had it in this tank at first. I set off most of its tannins. So I dumped it in here and I'm not getting any tannin release off of it. So I'm gonna put it back into that tank and I'll put some fresh alder cones in this one because I want it to really tan it up. And then in this tank, I've got Alice, oh, and uh, Ted's back, right, right hiding back here. And it's another pair of albino curbensis and they're hanging out. Um, there's Sword and another uh, um, Anubius and some, Oh gosh, I can't remember now. There, there's uh, uh, <laughs> brain parts. Um, I think it's Lobelia cardinalis. And uh, um, that'll come to me too. Oh my gosh, just having a rough time with names today. Um, but I got this whole big disc of that in a little better sized cup at PetSmart and break, broke it all up. Um, Busa philandra. And that's... Uh, I, I stuck it down on this piece of wood, and I've got quite an algae problem going on in here. And I dropped in four auto sinkless also, so hopefully they'll start working. And I need, if I can find some more little, uh, little plecos, I will put some of those in here. I started with six, this is another 29 gallon. And this, this one and this 29 gallon on the front, the ones, that they're used, and I got those on offer up. So I got these two 29 gallons and this thing, it's about eight and a half gallon for 45 bucks on offer hub. So I started with six platies and they were in a, uh, one of the other tanks I'm coming up on. And uh, uh, well, they've made more. So, and I finally just put them all in their own tank. There's a couple smaller ones in here that are maybe just a week old or so. These are all, a lot of these are maybe a couple months now. Uh, the adults I've had since, gosh, I can't remember, maybe March, there were six. And some of the first offspring, there's a male in here that has uh, uh, a black sword tail. 
the original male that came with this group was one male and five females, and he's got a liar tail, and he's not coming out and showing himself right now. Um, there, there goes the male with the sword tail back there. Right there. Um, and, the, the, and there's the male with the liar tail. So the male with the, the liar tail was one of the original six. The sword tail is one of the fry from that batch. And that's all that's in this tank are just, uh, um, just uh, orange platies. And then I've got philodendrons up and over. That's over here, philodendron. Got them in a couple spots. Another one down there. And then pothos. And you can see the roots from the pothos here and the roots from the philodendron here. And they really help keep the water clean. Look at all the roots off of this chunk of philodendron in here. They just go nuts. And then that's a, a piece of a, you know, one of the eyes that sprouted on a sweet potato, one of the orange sweet potatoes. Um, so anyway, let me come back around and show you those crypt spiralis while I think about it, because otherwise I will forget. And that is these guys there, and I really like them. Tall, slender, and yeah, that's what they're called, is Crypt Spiralis. That's not going to show up on this, is it? Um, and another, uh, we got another pothos hanging in there. I picked all that up planting house plants from uh, watching a video from Adrian's Fish Room uh, that uh, it was a tour that, that Keeping Fish Simple did of Adrian's Fish Room. And he's, he's just loaded up with houseplants all over the place. And it looks so cool. It does so much for the water, the water parameters. It keeps the water clean and safe. Uh, this tank is that eight and a half gallon I got from Offer Up. And there is in hiding. Uh, I've got some peppered quarries in here. I think there's six peppered quarries. And a little crypt. And then a pot full of crypts. And another uh, um, Anubius there. Little Java fern. There's a uh, Maroonie, my wife named him. And he's very cool. I really like this guy. Uh, maybe one day we'll see if we can get some offspring out of him. And this is just a fun little tank. And I love the peppered quarries. I just like quarries in general. I think I've got six. There's another one. Oh, they are elusive. I think I've got six species of, of uh, quarries now. And I try and keep the garage heated. I've got heaters in a couple of the lower tanks. And I've got heaters in these two tanks. And... I don't think they're running. Uh, keep the garage temperature controlled with AC or with heat. We're in Palm Desert, California, so it gets, it gets 120, 125 in the summertime, and it would cook out here. So we keep it, stays about 76, 78 with the, with the mini split running. And I'm trying to, I gotta get the temp maybe up a little bit. It's about 72, it's warmer than that in here right now. But the tanks go down to about 72, and I don't know if I want them to go a whole lot colder than that. But anyway, I got four big plecos in here. There's one hiding right there. He's, he's, he's bashful. And there are five false Julie quarries in here that I've gotten a few eggs off of. Ember tetras. I really like ember tetras. They're just peaceful, cool little fish. They're pretty. Um, and that's Carol. And Bob's around here somewhere. Um, and they are where the spawns of... Uh, the albinos and the species looking uh, crevensis came from that I showed you earlier. And there's a bunch of uh, cherry shrimp in here. And there's, I think, four autosynclus in here as well. So maybe we'll get some other surprises. Maybe maybe some of the plecos will show up with, you know, little ones somewhere because there's places for them to hide and do their thing. I don't have any pleco tubes. Maybe someday. And uh, oh, there's one of the false chulies. Another very cool, and there's Bob. One of the colors in his dorsal and tail fin, caudal fin, really pretty. And there's some of the little ones. There they go. They're all over the place now. They've scattered. They're starting to starting to spread out. I don't know how many uh, credences somebody can really use, but I've got a load now. And then, and this is another tank I got from OfferUp. It's a 40 breeder. And I think I paid 30 bucks for this one. 
and another 40 gallon breeder from offer up and I think I paid 35 for this one it's a good place to go shoot or search for tanks uh, and this tank here's those two big Amazon swords that came out of that uh, 16 gallon in the house uh, I've got 10 uh, Emperor Tetras in here and all of a sudden they're bashful and there's uh, there's I think half a dozen auto sinkless in there. There's one. And again, there's uh, um, more red cherry shrimp than I can count. Um, there's six bronze quarries now. There were five, I lost one. And all of a sudden a little one showed up. So that was one of the little surprises. And then after that, I found two big clutches, or no, three big clutches of eggs. Four actually, one on the glass right about somewhere around here. And I left that one and that one disappeared overnight. But the other ones were on this Amazon sword plant on the leaves and I cut, I think there was one on this leaf too, maybe where it's torn. Um, and I cut the leaves, the pieces of leaves off and put them in that fish bowl that I took out of the tank with the, the better breeding project. And uh, uh, they all hatched out in there. And now they're all swimming around in that tank in, in the house, the first one I showed you. And they are, uh, they're growing, they're happy. So I'm gonna end up with, God, I don't know, maybe 50 or 60 little bronze quarries. Um, and it's really cool, it's just one of these little surprises. There's also four uh, plecos in here. There's one there, there's two right there. And a bronze quarry and shrimp, and they all get along pretty well. Uh, and I think that's all the inhabitants here. There's a, a boost that I, some of the first ones I got and I just tucked it in a piece of wood there and it's doing all right. And one of these fake logs I grabbed at PetSmart and I pulled the plastic plants out and stuck some Java fern in the little holes where the plastic plants came from. I should probably point the camera at it, huh? And then more Java fern, all from inside the house. Um, and I just stick them to rocks with the little sloop, slooper. Oh, <laughs> there we go, it's been that kind of day, a little super glue gel. And along the back of the tank, I've got some of the jungle valve scenario. I've not had great luck with it, but. And here I got, uh, in the top of this tank, I've got an anthurium cutting right here. That makes those big heart, heart, waxy heart-shaped flowers. And a piece of Sansevieria snake plant. Uh, and there's a, I think it's called Cyperus. It's, uh, it's a sedge. It was a weed grown in the yard. I brought it in. I hosed all the soil off of it and stuck it in one of the little plant pots that you get when you order plants from somebody. And there's philodendron here. And uh, another pothos. And another piece of Sansevieria and more pothos. And I built this little kind of trellisy thing to go across the, the, this is the garage window here. Uh, let the plants vine on it. Another piece of piece of piece of a piece of both those. And uh, this thing I've showed before. This is uh, a big stalk, essentially, a runner that is coming off of this um, Amazon sword. And uh, I don't know if we can see it bobbing around back there but anyway uh, there's a little looks like a seed pod right right here by my finger and then there's a little plantlet growing on it up here so and I suppose if this would have landed underwater it might be rooting so I think at some point what I'm gonna do is is take this off and try and root it and there's another a um, little bit of a flower this little bulbous thing right there next you know, it's kind of my hands in the way and it's dark right here even though there's a light that thing right there a little bit of flower so anyway that's kind of uh, the long tour I didn't realize it's gonna take 25 minutes but there it is in a really big nutshell so anyway I'm gonna put this on YouTube and I'm gonna put it on um, uh, Instagram so please do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I will put more stuff out. And thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your weekend.